my plan was to go get my MBA and then I would get another job and that would be great and everything would just you know work itself out. Um, what I found was that the degree itself just wasn't good enough. What I underestimated was the, uh, the, the landscape and the competitiveness of the job market. I kind of lacked something to kind of put it all together in terms of packaging my, my professional brand for employers. And so that's where the career services came into play. What I took away from the career services stuff at Hamlin was that your career is something that is managed as a long-term project. It's not a short-term get a job. It's really a process of building your brand and then being able to uh, discuss that and to, to tailor that to what the position is that you're looking for. A after going through the, the steps of the career services department, I, I got to a point where I was doing really well with getting interviews. My resume was awesome. It was, it was you know, right in line with the, the direction that I wanted to take my career. So I was getting a lot of interviews. And you know, you, you sometimes fail forward. So you have an interview and you, you, you just bomb it. And sometimes those are really good learning opportunities. What was nice is I was able to reach out to the career services department and, and discuss, you know, this is what happened. These were the questions that I was asked that I really don't feel I answered very, very thoroughly. And then come up with, you know, different types of tactics to answer those questions more effectively the next time. I learned the skill set I needed to advance my career at the Hamlin University School of Business, but it was the personal attention that I got from the Career Services and Counseling Department that helped me take that to the next step and put it into action.